I talk, you listen. Welcome to my one-man panel of madness. Hey, this is Dr. Geo Who. Okay, so let's talk about Picard. Um, you know, it's... I, I've never seen a Star Trek episode start the way that um, Stardust City Rag, which was uh, episode five, uh, directed by Jonathan Frakes, uh, just had this gruesome opening. I'm not sure, you know, if, if you haven't seen it, then stop what you're listening to right now and go watch it because um, it was a, a very strong opening, but also very kind of like, I, I mean, I'm not grossed out by things uh, like blood or I mean I love horror movies but I've never just seen a Star Trek episode begin with you know poor Echeb having his drone implants and stuff being ripped off you know ripped off of him and that there's this whole black market for Borg implants you know it's um and I think it's because we're not used to this kind of Starfleet or, or Federation type of universe you know in other Star Trek series except deep space nine um you know starfleet was always like up and just the federation there was peace if there wasn't anything going on with the klingons or dominion whatever um but this side shows such a darker now uh, i guess aspect to what's happening out there uh you know seeing that um the flashback with seven of nine which yay you know exciting because i mean who doesn't like seven of nine um, you know, it's cool to see her sort of in full force and so different from the sort of robotic, monotonous um, drone that she still was a bit on Star Trek Voyager, you know. Uh, I mean, she did develop on Voyager, but she was still very like her answers were, you know, very Borgified, I guess. I don't know. I can't think of a better word than that. But yeah, it was just, she had so much more humanity, you know, and her dialogue with Picard was, was really cool because these are two people who have been, uh, through it. You know, they've, they've been assimilated and then they were trying to bring back their humanity. Um, is it fully there? Of course not. So having those moments with Picard and Seven of Nine was, uh, was really cool, you know, to kind of see. And, uh, of course, it's just the plot. Thickens, you know, and that's the thing about this show is that it just keeps, um, it keeps pulling you in because just when you think, okay, we might know a little bit more about what's going on with the Borg and the Tal Shiar and, you know, why the Romulans, you know, don't like synthetics and this destroyer person. I mean, the only thing I can think of, this is just my ramble, is that for whatever reason, the Romulans hate synthetic beings. Um, because they know that there was eventually going to be uh, some kind of destroyer that would be the end of Romulans or something like that. I don't know. I'm just trying to think why they're putting so much effort in trying to find, you know, Maddox and why they're trying to find uh, the synthetics and what, you know, what what's really going on here? Why are they on that Borg ship stripping it? And, you know, I can understand that they're trying to take technology. But it almost feels like that's not what they're doing. You know, they're trying to bring, you know, unassimilate whatever, you know, whoever they can find. So I don't know. It's it's great. Um, somewhat confusing at times just because I think I might have it. I realize, okay, I don't. <laughs> I guess I don't have it. And um, Bruce Maddock, you know, it's funny. I actually thought they were going to have the original actor who played Bruce Maddock in Measure of a Man, which is a great episode um, in, uh, uh, I believe, the second season of Star Trek The Next Generation. And, um, you know, it's, it's really fun to see how Maddox first just saw data as a machine, you know, a toaster. I think they, they say in a few, a few times in the episode, he's just a toaster. He's a machine. He's a computer, you know, and that he's property of Starfleet, um, to, you know, at the end realizing, okay, he is a magnificent you know, person or something like that. I, I All I know is I remember there was a big change where instead of calling it, you know, calling Data it, he finally referred to Data as he and him. 
Um, so yeah, and to see what is going on with him, you know, um, at Free Cloud, you know, so it's like people are trying to get out of him, and then of course the ending where he's now, you know, spoiler if you haven't watched Picard, um, you know, killed by that. The doctor, I forget her name, but I forgot her name, but she's like the doctor, which I thought had something with Bruce Maddox. So I don't know what's going on. Why she suddenly, um, I, uh, I, yeah, what happened? You know, so something must have happened to where there's something deeper going on here. I, I'm, I'm thinking she knew about these two specific, um, sim twins i guess we'll call them that uh, and uh and I, maybe she doesn't want this information to get back out there because she's really really you know she kind of really jumped on the picard bandwagon you know and i'm still not sure what that romulan agent starfleet officer told her and if she might be even be working for her and of course killing maddox at the end there suggests that she might be either a working with this starfleet romulan operative or she had something against Maddox. Maybe something that she, you know, doesn't want to relive. You know, maybe she doesn't want these Sims to come back. Maybe she's just like, no, we've had enough. We're not bringing these people back. You know, so she could be there to really sabotage Picard's, you know, uh, his trip. So, yeah, uh, a lot of cool stuff. It's just, um, it, it, I think for me is just that every time I think we're getting closer to an answer, I just have like more questions. Something happens that just, you know, it's like, oh, wait, I thought, no, I guess not. Um, which is great, I guess, for a TV show, but I'm impatient. <laughs> I'm like, like, like with Doctor Who, I'm like very impatient about what's happening with this, you know, Joe Martin, Dr. Ruth character what is a timeless child the master so it's the same with picard i'm like i'm trying to figure and fit pieces you know i know that he had a great love for uh for data which he says he's still been mourning for like two decades and they're trying to figure out maybe there's a way to bring data back and he's getting involved in all this you know when he really should be at his chateau picard but then again he's probably bored you know he's, he misses being up in space or sorry out in space not up in space um and having these missions and stuff so you know good for him good for him i just want some answers i want to understand more about what's going on and how the romulans are tied to this whole I, and I, I i can tell that the romulans have something to do with all the sims going crazy and fight you know the whole thing on mars um i really do feel that it's something that the the romulans um, they did, even though, even though they're, you know, essentially almost extinct because of the, you know, Romulans being blown up. So it's like, oh yeah, even, even during all this where we're being relocated, we're going to start this massive crap with regards to these artificial beings because we don't want them around, you know? Um, so yeah, I, um, I'm, I'm just up in the air as to what's going on, but yeah, it was cool to see against, uh, seven of nine. Uh, you know, just be there and be really badass. I mean, towards the end there, you know, you think she's going to take the higher moral ground and, you know, not go back to the planet. And uh, I can't pronounce her name, but the cool lady that looks like Troy, because let's be honest, she looks like Troy, um, you know, just takes her out. And then she just goes full force on everybody was really cool, you know, in a in a non, I guess, Starfleet Federation mentality way. It's like, oh, I'm coming, bitches. So, yeah. All right. Well, that's all I have for this week's episode and segment. Uh, we've got some more Picard coming up. And, of course, we have um, the two-part finale of, of Doctor Who coming up this Sunday, which is yay but nay at the same time because I hate that we only got 10 episodes. I'm really hoping that somewhere, I don't know when, maybe – Christmas, whatever, we get an episode because although we know they were confirmed to start uh, production this fall, we don't know what that means. Is it filming or production? I'll have to dig deeper and find out, but we'll see what's going on. Until then, keep on coming back and listening to my rambles because let's be honest, you like to. Okay, bye. <laughs>